It is finally time for one of the most hyped clashes of 2024. This is the men's 200 meter finals in the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. This race includes the newly minted 100 meter gold medalist Noah Lyles from the US, who comes into this race as the massive favorite given his previous two world championships from Eugene and Budapest, Hungary. Noah's reign as the 200 meter king has been absolutely unrivaled by almost anyone else in history, and on paper, he has had the fastest time in the world since 2018. Noah's number one position is so strong that many people see him as the undisputed favorite and would take something massive to happen for him to not get this gold. But standing in his way are some fierce rivals, including Kenny Benarek, who has run a 19.59 this season. We have Arion Knighton, a 19.49 performer and last year's silver medalist. And we have Letsile Tobogo from Botswana, the man who actually beat Noah Lyles in the semifinals with a performance of 19.96. Now, many people have been talking about this 200 meter dash as one of the most testing moments of Noah Lyles' career. Yes, he already did win the 100, which arguably was the more difficult challenge, but getting this double would make him the first man since Usain Bolt to pull off this historic double. Noah has mentioned that the 200 meter dash is more or less his wife when it comes to the track. And while it does seem as though he will win, anything can happen on race day. So with this in mind, let's head down to the track and see how this men's 200 meter dash finally unfolded. After a fair start, it was Lyles, Tobogo, and Kenny Benarek flying through the opening 100. And at this point, the classic finish was set. Noah has the fastest finishing speed, Tobogo potentially could get close, and Benarek was likely going to be chasing these two down the home stretch. But with 50 meters to go, Tobogo turned on the gas and was completely uncatchable. For this race, Tobogo took the gold medal in 19.46 seconds, a new African record, and this now places him as the fifth fastest athlete in the history of the men's 200 meters, now jumping beyond Arion Knighton's 19.49. Now finishing in second was Kenny Benarek in 19.62, another very solid time. And the surprise bronze medalist was Noah Lyles in 19.70. I think most people saw Noah as the overwhelming favorite for this 200 meters. But on this day, Tobojo stole the show with a huge 200 meter performance. Now rounding out the top eight was Arion Knighton in fourth in 19.99, Uganda was in fifth in 20.02, Makarawu from Zimbabwe got 6th in 20.10, followed by Fon Belay and Karamba from Zimbabwe. Now, incredibly, we already have the estimated split times from this race.